So before we start our discussion, please stand up for a prayer. Let us pray in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning class, so please take your seat. So now, I will check your attendance. So please say present if your name is called. Okay? Okay, so, is Pina Giancarlo? Is Pina Kenneth May? Is Pina Vincent Ken Cesar? Okay, so, no one is absent for today. Okay, so now, before we tackle a new lesson, let us recall what was our topic last meeting. So, among of you here, who remembers our topic last meeting? Okay? Okay, very good. Our topic last meeting was all about two-dimensional shapes. So, what is two-dimensional shapes? Okay? Very good. Two-dimensional shapes have only two dimensions such as the width and the height but no thickness. So, who can give me an example of two-dimensional shape? Yes? Okay, very good. Square is one of the examples of two-dimensional shape. What else? Yes? Okay, very good. So, circle is one of the examples of two-dimensional shape. Okay, since you have remembered our topic last meeting very well, let's do five big claps. One... Two, three, four, five. Okay, so now class, I have prepared a table chart. So this table chart is divided into four boxes. And each box has the categories 3 apples, 4 candies, 5 spoons, and 2 balls. Okay, so I have here a box of objects. All you need to do is put this object in this table chart that corresponds to its right categories. Did you get it, class? Okay, very good. So, who wants to go first? Okay. Okay, very good. So, who wants to put the objects in the second box? Yes? So, how about the third box? Yes? Okay, very good. So, how about the last box? Okay. Okay, very good. So, all of you did a great job in this activity. So, for that, let's do five big claps. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, class, let's have another activity. So, class, do you know what is this? Yes, this is a ladybug. How about this? Yes, this is a dice, a big dice. So, now, I have prepared a box of black dots and a set of numbers. So the first thing you need to do is to roll these dice on the floor. And once this dice stops rolling and shows a number, you have to pick that number in this table and put it in this blank equation. Did you get it, class? Okay, very good. So afterwards, you have to pick black dots in this box and put it in this side of the ladybug that corresponds to the number in this equation. Did you get it, class? Okay, very good. 
to complete this equation, you have to do the same thing. And when this ladybug has black dots on both sides, you have to count them all and pick a number in this table and put it in this side to complete and determine the correct answer of this equation. Did you get it, class? Okay, very good. So now let's start this activity. So, Carlo, please stand up and roll this big dice. So now from 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So now if we add 7 apples and 4 apples, it equals to 11 apples. Did you get it class? Okay, very good. So now class, let's go to the parts of addition. So addition have three parts, which is the add in, the equal sign, and the sum. So what is Aden? Aden, which is also known as summons, is the numbers or terms being added together. For example, in the equation 10 plus 6 equals 16, 10 and 6 are the addends. So next is the equal sign. So, equal sign indicates that the two halves of the equation are equivalent. So, in this equation, these two lines is the equal sign. Lastly, we have the sum. So, the sum is the totals of the addends. So, in this equation, 10 plus 6 equals 16. 16 is our sum. Did you get it, class? Okay, very good. So, do you have any questions and clarifications? Okay, none. So, now, let's have another activity. So, now, I have prepared here a box of paper rolls. Each paper roll contains a word problem about addition. 
All you have to do is pick a paper roll in this box and answer each problem in it. Okay, Carlo, please pick a paper roll in this box. Okay, Carlo, please read the word problem. Angela have two kites. Kathy have three kites. How many kites do they have in all? Okay, Carlo, please solve it on the board. So, class, did Carlo get the correct answer? Okay, very good. Thank you, Carlo. Okay, Vincent, please pick a paper roll. Okay, Vincent, please read the word problem. John have three coins. Sheena have four coins. How many coins do they have in all? Okay, Vincent, please solve the word problem on the board. So, class, did Vincent got the correct answer? Okay, very good. Thank you, Vincent. So, now, class, let's have a review. So, what is addition? Okay, very good. It is a method of taking two or more numbers and adding them together. How about addends? Okay, very good. So, addends is the numbers or terms being added together. So, how about the equal sign? Okay, very good. Equal sign is the two lines that indicates that the two halves of the equation are equivalent. And last but not the least, what is sum? Okay, very good. So, sum is the totals of the addends. So, class, since all of you have understood the concepts of addition, let's have a quiz. So for your assignment, please get your book on mathematics and turn to page 11. Copy and answer the activity on your paper and pass it on the next meeting. Did you get it, class? Okay, very good. And that concludes our lesson for addition today. I hope that you learned something from me. Goodbye, class.